Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Able Cine, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Infinity Arm from Matthews Studio Equipment. Now for years I have had cases and crates and little containers with all kinds of solutions for gripping, especially for small to no crew. I've been using nano clamps and spigots and ball mounts and little baby pins and all different types of connectors in order to solve those problems. I've also been and still am a huge fan of using the Mini Grip Head and the Mini Mathalini from Matthew Studio Equipment. You can in fact get four of these and two of these with rods in a kit called the Mini Grip Kit. It solves a lot of problems. I'll continue to use that stuff. But when I saw the Infinity Arm and the Infinity Arm system, I saw something that was solving a lot of those problems that I was trying to do with lots of other parts all in one place. So let me just go ahead and take you through what the Infinity Arm is first and foremost and then talk about how we can expand it to do lots of different things. Now it's a in some ways a typical articulating arm but the real difference here is a it is incredibly strong so you can get it pretty much into any position. It has a rosette based system here in the center of here we have two identical arms and then when we tie this down it is very very strong it will hold at least 30 plus pounds in a standard configuration it can hold a lot of weight even in a horizontal base configuration and of course the typical way that we use these arms is for mounting monitors and for things like that so as a standard, the arm comes with two quarter 20 attachments on either end. But what is really the secret to this? Well, the secret to the infinity arm system is that we can take all of these other attachments and use those with this system as well. So what we do is we loosen the arm all the way. And as soon as we do that, you will see here there is a release on the side and that allows this to pop down and then we can go ahead and attach different things here. So for instance, this is a cold shoe attachment. So I'll just hold that down, pop that into place and you can see that now I can move that around, pop it out by pressing down and releasing. Here's a baby pin attachment. So we just take that, pop it into the system and we can set that up and we'll just go ahead and release that. And then there are other attachments here. Of course, we have a 3 8 So we have a 3 8 16 attachment. And then I'm gonna set this up in a different configuration right now. We're gonna go ahead and take a super clamp or a MAFR clamp, and we're going to pop that into one side of the infinity arm. And then on the other side, I'm going to take one of those mini Mathalinis, but it has the attachment now for the infinity arm. So I've actually taken those two here together and I'm gonna tighten them down. And now I have a super clamp and I have a mini Mathalini on the infinity arm. We'll take a look at a way to use this in a few minutes as well. What I wanna do right now is show you one configuration, probably the most standard one, where we're using the Infinity Arm on a camera system to mount a monitor. Okay, so the first configuration, which is with the stock Infinity Arm with the quarter 20 mounts on either side, I have this actually attached directly to this particular camera body, and then I'm flying the monitor over here onto the left side of the camera, and I'm going over this way because I have an audio unit here, but I can configure that very easily. And also from a weight distribution standpoint, it works out very, very well. Now, of course, I could mount this a little bit differently to my camera system if I wanted to. And I could do that easily by taking and adding this cold shoe mount. And then that way I could actually attach the infinity arm to the cold shoe of the camera system directly or if you had a handle or something like that that had a cold shoe, you could use this as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this one that we built at the beginning with the Mini Mathalini and the Super Clamp and see what we can do with this. In this setup, what I wanna do is take a pretty typical bounce that I'm using for fill and try to do it in a slightly more efficient way. We're using a C-stand here, 
we've got a grip head, we've got a quacker clamp, and we have a piece of three by three bead board. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the same result here using the infinity arm with the super clamp and also the mini Mathalini. What we have here is we have the super clamp on this end of the infinity arm. And then on the other end, we have the mini Mathalini. And it's doing the same job that that C stand with the grip head and the quacker clamp were doing. So you can see here, um, it's letting us get into this small space and it is very easy to actually adjust it here. We still have all of that adjustability. So let me just loosen this a little bit and you can see that we can get that into any position that we need it to be. And then I can just lock that down and it will stay in place. So that's the second application. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use the infinity arm now to mount a lighting fixture. So here's our third and final setup with the infinity arm. And what we have here is a light fixture that I have attached to the overhang of this area. It's a rainy day here in the Pacific Northwest. So I wanted to lift the light a little bit in this particular space that I was standing in. So we've got the super clamp on one side, again, on that side of the infinity arm. And then on the other side, the baby pin attachment, the 5.8 stud. And that's what we have the fixture attached to. It is being battery powered right now. So just a tremendous amount of flexibility overall. And as you can see here in this third application, it really shows you all of the different things that you can do with the infinity arm and the system as you start to add those attachments. I'm really excited about this. I have two arms in my kit with all of the main attachments. I could see getting maybe another super clamp and a mini Mathalini for this. But overall for me, this is about as modular as it gets in something that does not take up a lot of space inside of your kit. So that's it, the Infinity Arm by Matthew Studio Equipment. Thanks for watching.